Slow here and today I want to talk about creating a menu for your residential facility or your group home. So it's wise for you to have a month schedule or if you want to do weekly schedule that you have posted somewhere in your kitchen or in your facility that your residents can be aware of. This helps to eliminate food waste and depending on how your facility is structured, if you do not have 24-7 staffing, um, sometimes your residents can make meals for themselves and cook what you plan on making for dinner. That's happened to us several times. So to eliminate this, we have a menu posted, at least for dinner, so that way they know what's going to be for dinner and um, that also helps us in doing our grocery shopping and food prep. Some things to consider is dietary restrictions. Um, if you have any residents that's maybe on a low sodium diet or has diabetes and they're on a low carb diet, um, if you have anybody that's on a kosher diet, so you just want to consider all the dietary restrictions that your residents have. Um, also, you want to consider um, what's in season. So if it's in the winter months or in the summer months, you'll have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. So you want to consider what's in season at that time. You want to plan for having a variety so that they don't get bored and you don't get bored cooking or your staff. So a variety, plan for snacks. Um, also consider using um, a meal planning tool online. There are several ones online and Consider any cultural preferences. Where are your residents from? What kind of foods do they eat? Ask them, talk to them. During the interview process, some of the questions I asked are in regards to diet and food. So food restrictions, their preferences and likes. When we started, I would make breakfast and nobody will eat it, so it would waste. Um, come to find out, most of my residents don't want to eat breakfast. They prefer a cup of coffee, toast, or cereal. Most of them eat cereal. So once they have their cereal and their coffee, they're good. So that helps us in um, eliminating food waste, saving money. So um, what I like to do is I make a list of things that I want to make. So maybe hamburger, pizza, spaghetti, chicken and rice, pork chops. So I just make a list of all those and then I um, get a board like this or paper and pen or paper and pencil, write down breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I make a list of different types of food that can go for breakfast, that can go for lunch, and that can go for dinner. And then I also um, create another list that has like my main dishes, main dish, and sides. So main will be like chicken, um, steak, that can also be like protein, your protein, um, pork chops, spaghetti, how do you spell spaghetti, um, or pasta, um, let me see, um, Baked potato. Um, you can have different salads. That can be a meal in itself, depending on the toppings and different things you put in it. Um, let me see. Meatloaf. Pizza. We do pizza once a week. Our residents love that. And then hamburger so sides we have veggies um, 
mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, um, let's see, grains that can go with um, veggies, um, soup. So make a list of all your veg sides, all your main dishes or your protein, and then create a, or um, you can print off a, a calendar, print off a blank calendar. So that way you have all your lines and your grids, and then just randomly pick and just put it down. Mm -hmm.